kindergarten friends and welcome back to our uh, kindergarten YouTube channel. I'm so happy that you're here. So, 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 I'm so happy that you're here, ready to listen and learn and follow along. Uh, yay! Today we are going to be reading another classic and favorite of mine. Because I have many favorites, if, as we have learned. And this story is called Chris Anthemum. Look at that, that's a very long word. So let's put our thinking caps on one time. And I want you, hmm, we're going to make a prediction. What do we think the story might be about by looking at the front cover page picture and the title. If our title, which is the name of the book, and it tells us what the story is about, if it's called Chrysanthemum, I wonder what that means. What could our story be about? Huh. I don't know. Looking at the picture, I see a little mouse, little girl mouse, and a flower. So my prediction would be that it has to do with this little girl mouse and maybe the flower. And then it's written by Kevin Henkes. Hen Henkes, Hen Hen <laughs> Kevin H. Mr. Kevin H. Okay, and is there an illustrator? No? no? Maybe he's the author and the illustrator. The author writes the story and the illustrator draws the pictures. Are you ready to do some more silly voices with me? I hope so. My turn, your turn. <coughs> Did you know the author writes the story and the illustrator draws the pictures? Your turn. <laughs> Good job. Um, Did you know the author writes the story and the illustrator draws the pictures? Your turn. Very good. Um, let's do a happy voice. Did you know the author writes the story and the illustrator draws the pictures? Very good. What does the author do? That's right. He writes the story. And the illustrator? He draws the pictures. You're, you've got it. Good job. Here's our title page, Chris Anthemum. The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' lives. She's perfect, said her mother. Absolutely, said her father. And she was. She was absolutely perfect. Her name must be everything she is, said her mother. Her name must be absolutely perfect, said her father, and it was Chrysanthemum. Her parents named her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew, and when she was old enough to appreciate it, Chrysanthemum loved her name. You see, she's a baby, and she's growing into a toddler. She's getting a little bigger. Oh my good, whoa, that was unexpected. Oh my goodness, and here she's like, love my name. Let's remove that a little bit. Okay. She loved the way it sounded when her mother woke her up. <laughs> she loved the way it sounded when her father called her for dinner. And she loved the way it sounded when she whispered it to herself in the bathroom mirror. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum loved the way her name looked when it was written with ink on an envelope. She loved the way it looked when it was written with icing on a birthday cake. And she loved the way it looked when she wrote it herself with her fat orange crayon. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. Look at that's like a big cake because it has fair name. And look at, wow, that's a very long name. Could you imagine trying to spell and write that name every day? Whew, she's very talented because that would be very hard. 
Chrysanthemum thought her name was absolutely perfect. And then she started school. On the first day, Chrysanthemum wore her sunniest dress and her brightest smile. She ran all the way. Hooray, said Chrysanthemum, school. But when Mrs. Chud took roll call, everyone giggled upon hearing Chrysanthemum's name. Here's Mrs. Chud, and she's just like we do attendance in the morning when I say, good morning, Micah, good morning, Savannah, good morning, Declan, good morning, Aurora, good morning, Carly, good morning, Berlin, good morning, Vincent, good morning, Kylon, good morning, Kyan. Just like when I say good morning like that every morning, that's what they're doing here. She's saying good morning, Dawn, good morning, Eve, good morning, Lois, good morning, Al, Les, Kay, Max, Sue, Bill, Pat, Tom, Sam, Ken, Joe, Rita, Victoria, Chrysanthemum. Let's look at how all those names fit and then hers is like, Good morning, Omar. Good morning, Cadence. Good morning, Erica and Adeline. Good morning, Evelyn. Good morning, Haley and Presley. And good morning, Camden. Good morning, Kaden. Good morning, Abigail, Abigail. Good morning, Jordan. And good morning, Aurora. And good morning, Emmanuel. And good morning, William. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on your name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. You're named after a flower. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and informed Mrs. Chud that Chris Anthemum's name was spelled with 13 letters. That's exactly half as many letters as there are in the entire alphabet, Victoria explained. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. Victoria's not being very nice at all. She's not a kind friend. If I had a name like yours, I'd change it, Victoria said. As the students lined up to go home, I wish I could, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. My name is too long. It scarcely fits on my name tag, and I'm named after a flower. Oh, psh said her mother. Your name is beautiful and precious and priceless and fascinating and winsome, said her father. It's everything you are, said her mother. Absolutely perfect, said her father. Oh yeah, if you look closely, look at their name tags and hers is like barely fitting. Chrysanthemum felt much better after her favorite dinner, macaroni and cheese with ketchup. What? Ketchup with macaroni and cheese? Okay. And an evening filled with hugs and kisses. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane. It was an extremely pleasant dream. The next morning, Chrysanthemum wore her most comfortable jumper. She walked to school as slowly as she could. She dragged her feet in the dirt. Chrysanthemum, 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 she wrote. She even looks like a flower, said Victoria as Chrysanthemum entered the playground. Let's pick her, said Rita, pointing. Let's smell her, said Joe. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful.
The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and said, a chrysanthemum is a flower. It lives in a garden with worms and other dirty things. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. I just cannot believe your name, Victoria said as the students lined up to go home. Neither can I, thought chrysanthemum miserably. Look how sad she is. Aww. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. They said I even look like a flower. They pretended to pick me and smell me. Oh, psh, said her mother. They're just jealous and envious and begrudging and discontented and jaundiced, said her father. Who wouldn't be jealous of a name like yours, said her mother. After all, it's absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum felt a trifle better after her favorite dessert. Chocolate cake with buttercream frosting. And another evening filled with hugs and kisses and pear, pear cheesy? That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she really was a chrysanthemum. She sprouted leaves and petals. Victoria picked her and plucked the leaves and petals one by one until there was nothing left but a scrawny stem. It was the worst nightmare of chrysanthemum's life. Chrysanthemum wore her outfit with seven pockets the next morning. She loaded the pockets with her most prized possessions and her good luck charms. Chrysanthemum took the longest route possible to school. She stopped and stared at each and every flower. Chrysanthemum, 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 the flower seemed to say. The next morning, the teachers were introduced to Mrs. Twinkle, the music teacher. Her voice was like something out of a dream as was everything else about her. The students were speechless. They thought Mrs. Twinkle was an indescribable wonder. They went out of their way to make a nice impression. Mrs. Twinkle led the student in scales. Then she assigned roles for the class musical. Victoria was chosen as the dainty fairy queen. Rita was chosen as the spiffy butterfly princess. Joe was chosen as the all important pixie messenger. And Chrysanthemum was chosen as a daisy. Chrysanthemum's a daisy, chrysanthemum's a daisy. Joe, Rita, and Victoria chanted, thinking it was wildly funny. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. What's so humorous? asked Mrs. Twinkle. Chrysanthemum, was the answer. Her name is so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on her name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. She's named after a flower. They are just so rude. Rude and disrespectful. Rude and inconsiderate. That's what they're being. That is just not nice. My name is Long, said Mrs. Twinkle. It is, said Joe. My name would scarcely fit on a name tag, said Mrs. Twinkle. It would, said Rita, pointing. And, said Mrs. Twinkle, I'm named after a flower, too. You are, said Victoria. Yes, said Mrs. Twinkle. My name is... Delphinium? Delphinium? Is that a flower? Delphinium? I don't think I've heard of that. Delphinium Twinkle. And if my baby is a girl, I'm considering Chrysanthemum as a name. It is absolutely perfect. Chrysanthemum could scarcely believe her ears. She blushed. She beamed. She bloomed. 
Chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. So the teacher, Mrs. Twinkle, is saying if she has a baby, well, she's about to have a baby, but if it's a girl, she's going to name it Chrysanthemum because she loves that name. Joe, Rita, and Victoria looked at Chrysanthemum longingly. Call me Marigold, said Joe. I'm Carnation, said Rita, pointing. My name is Lily of the Valley, said Victoria. Chrysanthemum did not think her name was absolutely absolutely perfect. She knew it. Epilogue. Overall, the class musical was a huge success. Chrysanthemum was absolutely perfect as a daisy. Victoria made the only mistake. She completely forgot her lines as the dainty fairy queen. Chrysanthemum thought it was wildly funny and she giggled throughout the entire dance of the flowers. Eventually, Mrs. Twinkle gave birth to a healthy baby girl and of course she named her Chrysanthemum. So she was mean the whole time, and then when it came to being her turn to perform, she forgot all her lines. That's a little something we like to call karma. That's why we treat others the way you want to be treated. If you wouldn't want somebody to treat you that way, don't treat somebody else that way. It's that simple. It's that easy. All right, guys. Today, I'm so excited because we have a special activity. Um, what I would like you to do, so what we would normally do in the classroom is I would write your name on a big piece of construction paper and using colored noodles, we would put each noodle on top of the letters of our name and then it would be, it's called noodle names, but we're not here to do that. So what I would like you to do is you're more than welcome to do that at your house if you have the materials. Construction paper, a parent to write your name and then you to put noodles on top. Or what you could do is find anything in your house. It could be Legos, blocks, um, snacks like Cheez-Its, Goldfish, Cheerios, popcorn, um, or you could use Play-Doh or paint, markers, anything. Find something creative, creatively, to write your name and then take a picture and post it on Seesaw. So not write your name, but to create your name. So you can use like Cheez-Its to spell out your name and take a picture and post it on Seesaw. You could use marbles. Well, that they roll, so that might be hard. You can use jelly beans. You can use anything that you can think of. Pretzel sticks, whatever you want. Use something that's in your house. Don't go and buy anything. Use something that's already in your house to create your name take a picture and post it on Seesaw. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how these turn out. If you would like to replicate the activity we would be doing in the classroom, once again, it's construction paper. You can write their name out large in large print. And then they would like glue like beans or um, noodles on top of their name for their entire, for all the letters, for everything. So it's like covering the whole letter, you know? You know, working on our fine motor still those muscles and <laughs> and how to spell and recognize our name so yeah get as creative as you want I can't wait to see it have so much fun post it on seesaw and I will see you later bye